Hi, everybody. This is the interview part of our show. This is where we interview special guests. And, and but today, we've got, today we've got something really excellent because... Who? Well, this is a first in television. We're actually going to go through the miracle of science mm -hmm. to interview the center of an atom. This was your idea? Yeah. But this isn't an ordinary atom, Syphil. What? Why? Why? This is an atom inside of one of Elvis's combs. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. So this is a sort of a famous atom. So, okay, let's go, everybody, now to the center of an atom. Hey, hello? Hello? Hello, anyone there? Hey. 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 How, you, how you doing, man? Yeah. C can you hold on one second? Sure. sure. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's the, I'm sorry, it's crazy down here. What's up, guys? How's it going down there, man? Uh, on a molecular level, good. But uh, it's busy. It's very, very busy down here. Sure. <laughs> well, why? Uh, it would take much too long to explain. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Do you want to know what your Adam's a part of? Well, I, uh, I had some personal theories, but uh, I don't... All, all right, <laughs> go ahead, shoot. H have you ever heard of Elvis? Sure I have, yeah, sure. Well, you're inside one of his combs. Get out of town. Yeah. Really? Are yeah. you kidding? Yeah, you are. You are, man. Uh, wait till the wife hears this. <laughs> she's, she's never going to believe this. Yeah, I'm glad you got you know something out of this, but we got to go, man. Yeah. So okay. It was really nice meeting nice you. Nice meeting you. Yeah, it was, it's same here, you know. I, I wish I was bigger so we could hang out or something, you know? Oh, man, sure. I know I'd really like to go out sometime. Yeah. yeah. Let's work it. If we can work that out, let's do it. That'd cool. be cool. That sounds great. Okay, okay see ya. See ya. Okay. That's pretty cool. Wow. Adams are the coolest. Yeah. What rock band strikes fear into the hearts of all dentists? The answer coming up. I'm still thinking about that Adam dude. I want to get him up here. I think that there's going to be a way that we can do that, you know actually. How, you know how cool that would be if we could take him out with us to bars and stuff? You know, people would freak out. I know. They'd be like, dude, that is not an Adam. And he could just... We'll be like, and he'll just pull off some sort of molecular thing and yeah. they'd be impressing chicks. That would be cool. That would be cool. We probably get well anyways. You wanna do something? Yeah, I do. Do you wanna play let's play something. Like what? Do you wanna play heavy metal? No, I got my uh my big clogs are broken. What about uh do you wanna play light rock thing? No, that'll put me to sleep. Do you wanna play punk rock? No way, man. You get way too violent with that stuff. Okay. Oh, let's play. Do you want to play New Wave? Yeah, let's do that. We haven't played New Wave in about a, two weeks or something. Yeah. Let's okay. Do it. Oh, cool. Hi, welcome back. Hi. You're on the number one A list, baby. You got the looks and moves and everything. You're, You're my number one lady for gravy. You're my number one, my number one lady for gravy. You're not my number two. You're, You're not, not my, my number three, three. lady for baby, baby. <laughs> number two. You're not my number three. You're my number one, baby, baby for baby. You're not number four, or number. You're not number four, or number. You're not like no, you. You're my baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're my number one. You're my number one, baby, baby. You're my number one. You're my number one, baby. Number one, you're my number one. Grab it. You're my number one. You're my number one. You're my number eight. You're my number eight. You're my number one. You're my number one. You're my number one. Grab it. You're my number one. Grab it. You're my number one. You're my number Okay, this one I think I knew. Is it that listening to Foo Fighters each day actually has a whitening effect on your teeth? Yes, that's actually true. Amazing. <laughs> well, it's, it's not, not like, like you're on intimate, intimate terms, terms with a gorilla. You can be on intimate terms with a gorilla. I don't understand how... Okay, okay well look, I spent... How many years did I spend in the jungle? Four. 50. I spent 50 years in the jungle. Well... Okay, okay I didn't spend 50 years okay, in the jungle. Yeah. But the point is, I learned how to communicate with apes. And any form of communication, you can build a relationship. It can even be with plants. It can See, be I with a dog. I mean, I've seen you do the thing with a banana. 
but, but apes like bananas anyways. I mean, that's, I don't see that as being... I'm communicating with these apes. I, we try, remember we tried to get them to uh, spell hors d'oeuvres? I know, but hors d'oeuvres is hard to spell. Any, I couldn't spell hors d'oeuvres. H-O-R-S-D apostrophe. Oh, my God. We, we got to go. go. We got to go Precious Roy. Hello there, consumers, and welcome to the Precious Roy Home Shopping Network. Now, those of you in the in crowd know that Precious Roy stands for quality merchandise. Self-improvement, home improvement, Precious Roy covers all the bases. Who? Today, we'd like to tell you about a very, very special Precious Roy product, and that's the Precious Roy TV diapers. Now, we've all got bodily function problems. Yeah, you know. I mean, you know about my bodily You've function. You've got some serious ass bodily function problems. Now, wouldn't it be nice to sit and watch TV? I love TV, you love TV. I learned everything I know from TV. Sit down, watch away. Never have to worry about getting up to go to the bathroom. Now, this means you'll never miss your favorite commercials. You'll never have to get off the couch. You can sit back, you can tune in, and let it all loose. I think we should take some calls. Because I think this we is, should. This I think is we a should. hot item. Let's hear what some consumers have to say about this product. Hi, I think these things are the greatest. Oh, Terrific. good. Are you enjoying them? I love it. I watch TV all day. How, how would you rate their absorbency? I'd rate them super absorbent. Su I've had this one on for three days. Wow. That's a Wait, doesn't that s kind of smell, though? No, I put a urinal cake down the front. I smell like a genius. You are. Do you hear that, folks? He smells like a genius. Now, I think, do you want to take another call? Hell yeah. Okay, N let, let's, uh, next call. Oh, uh, yes, I've been wearing these diapers for... Great. <laughs> Hello? What's wrong? Do you need change? Uh, do you need change? <laughs> Oh, did the big man fill up his diaper? Oh, he needs change. That's a good boy. Okay, well, we know wow. that Precious these... Roy's diapers are hot. Yeah, these things are really working well. I think they are. Why don't we talk now to Precious Roy and find out why these are so incredible? Okay. Precious Roy. This is Precious Roy, and I just robbed a bank in Egypt. What? Now, what about the diapers, Precious Roy? Microwave safe! <laughs> Microwave. Precious Roy, the TV diapers. Yeah! Suckers! Precious Roy, Precious Roy, making lots of suckers out of girls and boys. I'm going to be the next Canadian Dracula. What? I'm going to be the next Canadian Dracula. I can't understand a word you're saying. Spit that thing out of your mouth. <laughs> I'm going to be the next Canadian Dracula. You are. You're not even Canadian. I'm not Dracula either, but I got what it takes. Okay, so what are you going to do to get in shape? Well, I'm going to... I'm, I've just been starting kind of easy. Yeah, like what? I've just been starting with fake blood first. Okay. I just kind of... I've been putting it on ice cream. You've been putting fake blood on Sundays? Yeah. Fake blood. You scare me like the real thing And if you were the real thing You'd scare me more So pour it on Like it's a real thing Fake blood You rock me like the real thing, yeah
Hello, TV watchers, and welcome to Call from the Public. Now we're going to take calls, so call in. Caller, go ahead. This is your landlord. Yeah, what do you want? You know damn well what I want. I want those freaking monkeys off of my property. They're yeah, not, they're not ours. What do you mean they're not yours? We don't... There's three feet of monkey down there. No, there there's, isn't. There, there's not. We trained them to use the toilets. Yeah. I don't, used... I don't want no freaking monkeys using my toilets. Yeah, well, you everything's guys... covered, so yeah. uh, anyways. You guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. We'll see you later. Wait. Caller, go ahead. Yeah, caller? Yeah, I have a question about my sexuality. Okay, what is it? Oh, uh, you know, I mean, am I a dinner fork or a salad fork? I don't know. I don't even really know the difference myself. Me neither. Yeah, that makes two of us. I mean, what should I do? How do I, how will I know? I, I would just lay there and wait to see what people use you for, really. Oh, that is so kinky. You're a pervert. You got it. Okay, I think we better take another call. Um, oh. um, next caller. Yeah, this is Bob Ward from Monkeyland. Hi, Bob. Hey, Bob. How'd you get our number? Uh, your landlord gave it to me, but uh, oh. you you guys, uh, I have written down here, you've got 57 of our monkeys for a party, and they are two months late. I you, actually, you need to return those guys. We've, okay. got, we've got 60 now, because some of them had babies. Look, look, I don't know what's wrong with you guys, but uh, you, you really need to bring these monkeys back. They're, yeah, they're yeah don't worry there. about that there. This is a this is a TV show, and yeah. it's not the time or place, so you're going to have to go. We're on TV right now? Yeah. Yeah, so hang up. Eee, ee, ee, ah, 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 come to Monkey Land. Hey, hey. Next week we got specials. Whoa. Buy one monkey, get okay, two monkeys. Okay, no advertisers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, shut up. Shut, shut up, up, Bob. Jeez. Okay, sorry about that, folks. We'll, hopefully that'll be edited out. Yeah, that was really not professional. That was Calls for the Public. Rock. So long. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Simple, your anchor. Good evening, Serena. Now oh, we man. have a weather report. From any disaster. Thank you, Sybil. And now that I can't do it, my life's in shambles. I'm fat. She's kind of cute. I want, hey, I need, a, I need that five day forecast for this weekend. I just want to be a nice right, guy. Right. I think I'm starting to feel a high pressure system building. Here. You are a disgrace. I am so sorry about this, Serena. That's all for the news tonight, folks. Thank you and have a pleasant tonight. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey, Chester. Hey. How you guys doing? Good. How are you doing today, man? Crazy. Not so top of what? the world. <laughs> you didn't happen to be downstairs using the air hockey table, did you? No, man. No way. Uh -uh. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because it's broken, you know that? And you were the last person down there. Yeah. We're, weren't you there yesterday? No, but you were down there this morning. Yeah, I know. I know. So why is it broken, then? You're the last person that used it. Yeah, you guys down there yesterday? Remember? Why do you have air hockey pucks tied to your shoes? I don't know. I got I got a pretty mean pretty mean moonwalk going on the air hockey table. We told you not to do that. You're gonna have to pay for the for the air hockey table. Why can't you pay? You guys pay. It's gonna have to come out of your allowance. Okay, I can quit. <coughs> <coughs> see you, Chester. <coughs> yeah, see ya. Okay, here's a good one. What fact about Stevie Wonder do most history books fail to tell you? Hmm. The answer is three of the seven wonders of the world are actually Stevie Wonder albums. Amazing. Oh, man, that's so cool. We saw two Icelandic tigers last night. Where? Well, we were ice fishing. Where? Just right in the backyard. Two of them came right up, up to the back, and we felt something brush up against the side of the tent. Really? And so we threw, we threw all of our belongings into the hole through the ice. Is that what you're supposed to do? Yeah, you threw all your belongings through the hole, in the hole through the ice so that they can't smell the food. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we waited, and one came around the back, and just with its claw reached up and just ripped the tent open. And we stood there, and we stood, stared it right in the eye. Really? Yeah. 
So these are on top of the ice. Yeah. Oh, we got to go we got to go to an interview. Hi everybody. Welcome to the interview section of the show. Today we got a really cool uh, guest. Today and he's we don't. Uh, we don't. Yeah, we've got this we have an inventor and his name is Pat mm -mm. Lacey. Mm -mm. What? There's no inventor today. <clears throat> He canceled his interview. He's not going to make it. Why? I, I don't know. I just got the message today. I mean, he, le he left it last night, but I was out late. Did you never... get someone else? Oh, no. I mean, I just found out about this. So. Okay, well, I'll be him then. Okay? No. So you just well, interview you know, me, I'll be him. I can be him. You're not, you're not an, an inventor, though. I, I, now I am. You, I'll just do it. I'll come there's, out. There's people watching. They want, they want the interview, and it's going to be you. That's cool. Okay. Roll the music. I, I'll do it. <sighs> I can do it, dude. Roll the music. Hi, and welcome to the interview part of the show. Today we have an uh, inventor, a real famous guy, who's going to be telling us about some of his inventions. Uh, this is Pat Lacey. Pat. Hello. Hey, how you doing? <clears throat> Great. I'm just so excited about my inventions. Did I tell you of all the things I've been doing lately? No, you haven't. I invented um, the front yard. Really? And paint. And I invented... I did... I, I invented prison. Dude, I can't do this. Why? It's just so weird. Uh, you know what it is? It's the hat. It's your hat. I'll tell you, you take off your hat, we roll the music, we do the scan, I might be able to take this seriously. You just need to get into it. You just need to get the hat off. Okay. All okay, right. let's try, try it again. I try it again. <laughs> Today we have our very special guest star, um, Pat Lacey. Hi. Pat, I hear you invented beeswax. I did invent beeswax. That's amazing. And it was... It, what? I, th I always thought that bees invented beeswax. Well, you know, up until I came around, they did. <laughs> so basically, you just took over for them. I took over for them. I have also invented a couple of other things you might have heard of. Like Is that why bees are always, um, like, running... Laundry mats and stuff now because they don't have anything to yeah, do. Yeah, I've put a lot of bees out of work, but I've also invented a couple of other things that you might have heard of, like velvet. Really? I also invented the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the almost the end of the almost show. Right. So, uh, anyways, I just want to hurry up and get done because I want to see if that way I see that girl again. Are you still home. talking about that girl you saw in the car? Yeah, I saw, you the saw scene. this girl. He was walking down the street and some girl drove by him. She, that car was weird looking too. I know she was driving a really weird car. So you saw her face for like two seconds. And now he's in love with her. So you should have got her. If you would have got her plate number, you'd have been set. If I could find, if I could remember what her license plate is, I could probably track her down. Did you get the name of that girl in the spooky car? Mm -hmm. Did you get the name of that girl in the spooky car? Mm -hmm. Give me the 411 on that girl in that spooky car, please. Well, I was walking down the street one day. One fine day. When I saw a spooky car. Oh, wow. And the girl behind the wheel. Made me feel weird. Her name was Zanzibar. Yeah, and that 